This is Odin. Odin was adopted five years ago. And today, I'm issuing Odin a challenge to learn 30 tricks in 30 days. Basically, I want to see if my rescue dog is equally as smart as the average border collies that you see on YouTube doing dog tricks. So to get things started, I have to do some research work. So I spent about an hour on Google and YouTube doing the most efficient and productive research work I've ever done in my whole life. Shrek is love. Shrek is life. Um, ciao. Anyway, so... In the end, I have my list of 30 tricks which I think Odin can handle, so uh, nothing too crazy. And I've also divided them into what I think are 10 easy tricks, 10 medium tricks, as well as 10 hard tricks. I'm so excited to be here! Woo! And for the first week, we are taking it chill. As you can see right here, Odin will be learning majority easy tricks and just one medium trick. To no one's surprise, Odin did really, really well for his first week. He got majority of the tricks down in under 10 minutes, but there were a couple of tricks that caught me a little bit off guard. Like for the first one would be reverse. Now he really, really didn't like this trick at all. He was trying his best to do all the other tricks that he knows uh, to get to the food that was in my hand. And this is because by reversing, he is getting further away from the food and he is having none of it. And you know what they say, in true love, the smallest distance is too great. But eventually, he got a trick down in about 24 minutes. So the next challenge for us is actually sit pretty. He did not possess sufficient ab muscles to keep him upright. So I actually consider it as a win if he managed to stay up there for like two to three seconds. And if you're watching this and you have been looking for a sign, this is your sign to get to that gym. You want to sit pretty? And lastly, we have head down. He is way too excited for this trick and had a hard time calming down. At one point, I had to forcibly push his head down on the ground and force him to relax. Well, it took him a while, but eventually he got a trick down in about 40 minutes. And that concludes our week one. So for week two, we are doing all medium tricks. This week was actually quite surprising. I thought that with medium tricks, he's gonna take a little bit longer to learn each trick, but he got most of it down uh, also within 10 to 15 minutes. There are only two tricks which he needed a little bit more time, the first one being late weaves. For this, he is just way too good at the under trick and he just wouldn't get out between my legs. So we had to do a little bit of adjustments. Every time after he weaved between my legs, I would make him sit and stay on the same spot. Then I would take another step before letting him do his leg weaves again. And he successfully learned this trick in 20 minutes. The last trick for this week is close the door. The only issue we have for this trick is his confidence. He didn't like the way the door moves, he didn't like the sound it made when the door closes. So the only thing that I could do was to give him a lot of encouragement, a lot of positive affirmations, a lot of praises. So there are a lot of, wow, you've done such a good job, you've been so hard working, what a good boy. And he eats that shit up. Do it to your dog, do it to your partner, tell him he's a good boy. Trust me, it's gonna work well. Just working, working hard so I can please you. The pressure is getting worse. Week three and I'm feeling the pressure. We are doing hard tricks. We are definitely a little bit more impatient, frustrated, just because it takes a longer time to learn each trick. And so it was really testing our bond with each other as well as our trust in each other. I had to do a lot of trial and error in the way I trained. First one being holding an object in his mouth. I couldn't find any helpful tips on YouTube for this. He was never really the kind of dog that would pick up things with his mouth. He doesn't play fetch, he doesn't play with toys, and I had to force his mouth open, gently of course, uh, to put the toy in. Well, to be frank with you, I wasn't really enjoying doing this trick with him, uh, just because I can see it in his face that he wasn't enjoying it at all. 
At one point, I want to give up and to consider this as a fail, but we held it out. And by the end of, I think, day two or day three, uh, he got more used to the trick and was compliant at best. Uh, but well, we will consider it as a success. And this footsie trick, I swear to God, gave me PTSD. I had actual nightmares. I dreamt about this. So to start this trick, he has to go between my legs and put his paws on my feet. As you can see, I was putting my feet closer to each other so that it was easier for him to step on. Honestly, it was actually quite a great start until I kept my feet apart. And I realized that he has no idea what he was supposed to do. Because clearly, something was not working. And so we had to backtrack. So I decided to go back to the one-to-one -one trick to emphasize his paw on my foot. And we went back to the trick and this time he understood that his paw has to be somewhat on my leg. Now the next part here is the time-consuming part, which is to transition his paws on my thigh all the way down to my foot. I had to do a lot of shaking to slide his paw down to my foot, but that resulted in a lot of scratches along my leg and so I had to take a lot of breaks to let my leg rest. Slowly but surely, he finally got it. And boy, I was in tears of joy. And then, I realized I have to do the same thing for the next leg, so obviously I took a nap. So for the next couple of days, we worked on this consistently and eventually we got better. The last step was actually easy breezy for him, he just needed to stay on my feet. And there we go. He finally learned this in a total of two hours. No pain, no gain. Look at the bruises it got me. I don't know. I just don't think this is like right for me. I don't want to do it. I can't take the pressure of it. We are at our final week. So this week, I'm actually not as frustrated. I think it's cause for the past three weeks, I've been learning the best way to train him, what are his strengths and what are his weaknesses. So I knew exactly what I had to do to train him for the remainder of his tricks. There's still some tricks that require a little bit more patience and time. For example, cross paws. I totally underestimated how stiff Odin is. So I was trying my best to put his paws together and you can see that he is resisting. And you can tell by the way that his ears are pulled back, that he is not comfortable, he's a little bit stressed uh, in this situation. And it was pretty clear that at this time, he was feeling pretty exhausted. So we took a break, let him lie down, give him a little bit of massage, uh, let him walk around the living room for a bit and just basically wait for him to be ready again. When he came back for the second time, I made sure to treat him a lot to maintain a positive experience for him but I took it really, really slow. And at night, we tried again. And this time, he's actually much more receptive towards the training session. He got a trick down pretty quickly after that, and he just wouldn't stop doing it. Finally, we are at limp. Now, this trick took us quite a while because there are just so many steps involved. First of all, I taught him how to hold up his paws in the air by watching my hand signal. And while holding his one paw, I made sure that he was comfortable enough to walk around with just three of his limbs. I was trying to lure Odin to walk towards me with just three of his limbs, but he kept putting his paw down. I had to backtrack my steps and basically break them down into smaller pieces. I went back to help him hold his paw up in the air, but gradually helping less and holding less weight on my hand. And I waited for that golden hop to treat him. And by the next day, he managed to do his hop thing without my help, but still needed to lean on me for a little bit. And after a couple of tries of guiding him by moving backwards, he managed to balance himself perfectly and successfully learned this trick within 2 hours and 13 minutes. And now what? In a true Asian fashion, we must have a test. I will be grading him based on the number of tries. He only gets 3 tries, as well as the accuracy of each trick performed. So the maximum score he can get on each trick would be 10 points, and the total will be 300 points. I'm gonna start my narration right here because I need to go and take a nap. Enjoy watching Odin take his test and I will see you at the end. Bye! Very good, but...
Yes. Yes. Okay. He just scratched me right here, right after the hug. Sit, sit, yes. <laughs> What did I learn from this challenge? Now, I think number one would be patience. There are just gonna be times where things don't go your way. You know, your dogs are not perfect. They're not gonna be 100% on their you know, best behavior or 100% on form all the time. Cut them some slack. Uh, recognize if they are tired, if they are sleepy. Maybe today is not a, the best day to do it. I'm not gonna lie. I definitely lost a little bit of my temper in one of those sessions. Is that clear? You shit. And I felt really guilty after that. This challenge really showed that I was lacking in the patience department. Well, we learned from it. And the second thing that I've learned is adaptability. I watched a lot of dog trick tutorial prior to this challenge, but there are just so many times during the challenge that things did not go the way that I expect. 
And so I had to really do a lot of improvisation, a lot of um, thinking about what are his strengths, what are his weaknesses, what has worked for him in the past, what hasn't worked, and come up with my own uh, little steps of teaching him. Just because a dog on YouTube successfully learned a trick uh, in certain way doesn't mean that your dog is a failure if he or she failed to do so. We have to learn to adapt to those differences and find out what is the best way to train our dog based on our understanding of them. And if you're watching this and you're thinking, okay, my dog will not be able to do what Odin did. Well, there's a reason why Odin is chosen to do this challenge and not this boy behind me right here. The same boy who just destroyed my soundproof foam. What do you have to say for yourself? So do not worry too much about what goes on the internet because people do not show their failures. Just do the best you can. Well, that's the end of the video. Hope you guys enjoy it. Thanks for watching. Okay, bye-bye. Bye-bye. Odin, are you happy with what you got? Yeah, you happy? Because that was a disgrace! Sorry boy, I was just acting. Yeah, I'm not scolding you. You're sorry.